Hello there YouTube and yeah, I'm back with a uh, pickup video not a very uh, a big lot of things but enough to where I can justify doing a pickup video I think um, so let's just start right at the beginning uh, this was a, a deal I did on YouTube with Boomstick229. Um, I bought uh, this Ocarina of Time uh, strategy guide from her. And uh, she has a great channel. If you're not subscribed to it, go ahead and do that because she has uh, quality videos that she puts out pretty much every week. And uh, she's just a good YouTuber all around. Uh, so check out her channel, definitely. Um, interesting thing about this particular um, strategy guide is that it says on the, f on the front of it that it is a GameStop exclusive. And the other interesting thing that I, th well, the thing I thought was interesting is that it has the GameCube logo here at the bottom here. So this must have been for uh, one of the uh, bonus discs. This does not seem to cover the master, the master quest. So uh, that's that's fine by me because somebody stole my copy of the master quest, and uh, I am not terribly interested in reobtaining it at the moment if it's going to cost me money. But it doesn't sell for too much. I I look on eBay and. Uh, it's kind of averaged out at, you know, maybe 40 or so, 40, yeah, 30, 40 dollars, which isn't too bad, but considering it was given away for free originally, when you pre-ordered the, uh, the Wind Waker, I think that if anybody uh, got one of those games, got one of those uh, Master Quest things, for free, you know, if they were selling it for five cents, they would still be making a profit. And uh, I did make that point one time in a very heated uh, uh, argument once with somebody on the internet that I was trying to get a different Zelda bonus disc from. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, one of the first few things I grabbed I'll show you right now. Um, okay, so I got the uh, Ratchet and Clank HD um, collection here for the PlayStation 3. Um, I've never played any of these except for the first one, and that was very, very briefly. A friend of mine wanted me to try and pass a part that he was stuck on, and I couldn't do it. But uh, once I get through with a few games that I'm working on, I will move on to this and give it a shot because it seems like a pretty cool series. And uh, uh, the next one I uh, grabbed was uh, Blade of Blue Continuum Shift. Um, I've only played this once and there's a lot of dialogue for the story mode. And I was really tired and I actually fell asleep while I was playing it. So uh, I'll have to give this a, a go another time, and uh, that's about that. And I also picked up the uh, complete edition of Mortal Kombat. This is sort of a, a mashup box. I took it out of the red box because I don't like the red boxes and I don't like the greatest hit stuff. But this is just a holdover until I can find the near impossible to find uh, non-greatest hits version of the complete edition of Mortal Kombat. Um, you know, this game actually kind of sucks because you have to push a button to block still. After all these years, uh, I don't know why the designers haven't really considered changing that because that would be a major, major improvement over the way that you block in the game. Uh, so these three games, cost me a rock bottom low price of zero dollars and zero cents. Uh, that's a great deal. Um, next up, I uh, got this for I think a little over seven dollars 
from GameStop, and I did it purely out of Schadenfreude. And uh, it is um, TNA Impact. Uh, I played this a little bit, and it's actually, you know, even though this is a pretty relatively old game, um, I can't tell what year this was released, but this doesn't have like, you know, trophies or anything. So, uh, whatever online support it used to have, which it doesn't have anymore because it was uh, published by Midway. Um, and Midway is toast. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no trophy support, so uh, it, it predates that. Um, uh, but the graphics engine is really good. It actually holds up. The character models, uh, they look pretty good. Uh, for an older game because I have some games from the early days of the PS3 uh, that um, they look pretty bad. Uh, the characters are very waxy and plasticky and just not very uh, uh, nice to look at and this was a pretty big surprise considering the age. And like I said, I got it purely out of schadenfreude because the show Impact was uh, canceled by Spike TV, and uh, it just kind of beats my cable sometimes when uh, bad things happen to bad companies. So uh, another thing I picked up, and I a couple more things here, just show you them together. Uh, got these the other day. Um, okay, so uh, we got Midway's. Arcade Origin. This has a little over 30 games on it. Uh, nothing um, newer than um, uh, Total Carnage. I think that's the newest game on here. And um, there are no Mortal Kombat's on here because I think they wanted to keep it a non-M rated game so that everybody could buy it. Uh, that's just my theory. I don't know for sure. This does have trophies and leaderboards and stuff. Uh, some of the trophies are really hard to achieve, but I've, I've unlocked several, just in them of the, uh, the major ones, because there's there's some pretty hard ones in here. You have to do things on one credit uh, to get the trophies. And um, this is actually a very really good collection, and uh, I would recommend picking this up. I actually had a hard time finding this for a while. It disappeared from uh, GameStop stores and Walmarts and stuff after uh, a while. And I had my eye on it for a while and then I, I just kind of put it off for a long time and then I just didn't see it for a really long time. So I picked it up where I saw it and I uh, don't regret it. It's good stuff. I love old uh, games. I love arcade games. And, um, and there's nothing new on here that hasn't been released in other compilations before, but it's worthy to have for your PS3, and if it's on the 360, it's worth having on there too. Uh, the other thing I got was uh, Dead Space 2, and this is uh, the the nice non-greatest hits version. I actually had to ask them to give me the non-greatest hits one because they were going to give me the red one, and then they did give me the clear case, but they stuck the red disc inside, and I went back and I asked them to give me the the, uh, the non-greatest hits disc, and I'm pretty sure they they, they um, all hated me and laughed at me after I left at that GameStop, but uh, either way, I got what I wanted, and they got the money that they like to have, so hooray for everybody. And uh, let's move right along. Um, I also picked up for the Vita, Dragon's Crown. And I can't recommend this enough. This is an excellent game. It's also on PS3. And it just recently went on um, uh, PlayStation Plus for free. If you have PlayStation Plus and uh, the hard drive space, and you haven't played this, do it. Because it is fantastic. It has really good graphics, really great sound and music. Uh, it's very similar to old-school uh, side-scrolling beat-em-ups like Golden Axe. Actually, it has a lot of similarities to Golden Axe. And it has RPG elements that are not necessary. They don't really... You don't have to incorporate the RPG elements into your playing because uh, you can pretty much hack and slash your way through the whole thing so far. 
as uh, I'm pretty far into this game, and there are a lot of trophies and stuff, and it's a really great stuff. This is really great. Um, if you uh, have a, a PlayStation Vita or a PlayStation 3 or a uh, account for um, PlayStation Plus, and you don't already have this game, well, I don't even have to say it, do I? Okay, next up is uh, this is just an empty case for Borderlands 2, and um, because the Vita that I bought is the uh, the uh, the Borderlands 2 edition, which is uh, right here. This is the box for it. I forgot to show that when I uh, had the pickups for for it. Uh, that, and uh, there's some cat hair, of course, because I have a thousand cats. Um, yeah. So it came with a voucher inside of it for um, Borderlands 2 for the Vita, and um, it's inside the case. I have the voucher in here if I, in case I ever decide to redeem it, uh, which I doubt I will, but I just wanted to have the case in case. I wanted to have the case in case I decided to actually utilize this game, which I probably wouldn't because first person anything is not my thing. I don't really like it at all. A um, few exceptions here and there, but yeah, this is just no. I'm not interested in it. And uh, I got this very recently. This is a uh, another Facebook deal. Actually, the only Facebook deal. Um, from some collecting group, I don't remember what it's called offhand, but uh, it's uh, for the original Xbox, Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfect. Uh, for a long time, I always thought that this was uh, a 3D fighting game, like um, the uh, X-Men Mutant Academy games, uh, but apparently this is like a 3D beat-em-up uh, from the videos that I've watched on, on YouTube. This actually looks really cool, and I'm glad that I picked this up. It only cost me $10, which is a little more than I would like to pay for this, but in Tucson, the place that I would pick up my games from, they were selling this for the for the Xbox anyway. They, they rarely ever had this. Um, they were selling it for like $18 a lot of the times whenever I would find it, and most of their Xbox games were marked down to like 5 so I guess they figured it was a supply and demand issue because I never, I rarely saw the game, like I said, and uh, that's for any system. I found out this is on GameCube and on PS2, but uh, yeah, uh, this looks very cool, and I'm in, when I have a, a working Xbox, I'm going to be eager to play this and the other Xbox games I picked up recently uh, that I've shown in the, my previous uh, pickup videos. And uh, now on to uh, some movies that I've picked up. Like I promised, I would be showing uh, whatever movies I picked up from now on. Because I, I used to do that in older uh, pickup videos and haul videos and whatnot. Uh, grabbed Jaws 2 from uh, Walmart for $5. This was uh, around the time that uh, the, the, the week that. Um, Sharknado 2 was debuting on Sci-Fi, starring uh, a friend of mine. Not starring, but she's in it, and she gets eaten by a shark. Uh, a Sharknado, which is pretty funny. I didn't actually watch the movie. We saw little bits and pieces of it. I was actually out shopping the night that I got that, when the movie came on. We came back, and it was on, like, all night. And uh, same thing, uh, we picked, the same night we picked up uh, Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Um, uh, my wife picked this one out. I, I did like the first movie, but I'm not terribly interested in seeing this one in such a hurry. But they're pretty decent uh, dystopian movies for uh, the young adult crowd. Um, kind of interested in seeing what the what goes on in the, the follow-up to the first film. Because I imagine there has to be some sort of uprising against the, uh, the society. And um, next, uh, I got this yesterday. Uh, it is Batman Assault on Arkham. I got this, uh, this the Walmart exclusive version with the two DVDs. 
I always buy these on standard def because I don't want to like upgrade them to Blu-ray going all the way back to uh, uh, the Batman Gotham Knight movie uh, anthology. I just want to do that. And uh, uh, while I was at the Walmart yesterday picking up some prescriptions, I happened to find this uh, Hot Wheels Speed Demons Evil Weevil variation. I've been collecting these, like I said, since 1985 in previous videos, and I've also showcased uh, a large portion of my collection uh, of these. And then anytime I find a color variation of one that was released from 1985 up until um, a certain point when they stopped branding them Speed Demons, which was around 93, uh, I only collect the, the, those. Um, uh, the repaints from of those particular uh, vehicles. So uh, ones that are similar that have been released in recent days I don't pick up because it would drive me crazy to be looking for the variations of all the new designs that are kind of sort of like those but not quite because they're not made excuse me they're not made by the same individuals that made the original Speed Demons line for the Hot Wheels collection. Um, I also grabbed uh, this issue of Horror Hound, which is not really my favorite magazine, but um, I just couldn't pass on it for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, I don't think there's really anything in here that uh, piqued my interest. I just was at Barnes & Noble and decided to grab it, and uh, that's really it. That's, that's, that's the... Um, so yeah, that's that's about it for the pickups. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing what I got, uh, and uh, I probably won't be doing another one until next month because I have no money left, and I only get paid one time a month as per my job. So that kind of stinks, but um, yeah, we have uh, tried to live with that and uh, work around that and we've survived so, so far so um, that, uh, that, that that works for the most part. I mean we do kind of cut it close toward the end of each month but we haven't gone without and uh, clearly I mean I'm able to buy crap that I don't really need and don't have space for if you don't Notice I don't have anything to you know display my uh, my video game collection on. It's just bare drywall back there. It looks like I'm inside the matrix, and um, yeah, I got just boxes of stuff scattered all about the basement here. And uh, yeah, I don't have any shelves. I don't have any uh, way to display stuff. So it's not a big deal, but it would be nice if I had a, a thing or two to uh, put my stuff in uh, and on, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I ramble so much, I just don't have very many people to talk to. So it's basically you guys, if you're watching, uh, that's your my audience, you are the people that I, I am engaging with. And uh, uh, I hope you uh, comment. I hope you put the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And like I said earlier, check out Boomstick229 if you are not already a subscriber to her. Uh, she runs a great channel and um, that's about it. She's also good to deal with uh, as far as uh, gaming goes, uh, buying stuff from, uh, doing trades and that type of stuff. She won't rip you off. She's cool. So uh, yeah, you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time.